Hello, welcome to the Lakers Nation. Lakers vs. Jazz Preview in pursuit of first three-game winning streak since January. The Los Angeles Lakers are looking to extend their winning streak to three when they face the Utah Jazz on Friday night. Coming off a thrilling overtime win on Wednesday night against the New Orleans Pelicans, the Lakers could climb even higher in the Western Conference with a win. With one win, the Lakers would have their first straight three-game winning streak since January 4th. Take the opportunity to leave your like, subscribe to the channel and activate the bell to be notified whenever you have new news from your favorite team. Utah is an early surprise of the season with a 6-3 record. Beating them can be an extra confidence boost for the weekend. Anthony Davis was listed as questionable again with a back injury. LeBron James is also playing after being listed as likely with a foot injury. Both Davis and LeBron were excused from Friday's session to rest, with the latter also dealing with an illness. The Lakers are still without Dennis Schroeder and Thomas Bryant because of their respective thumb injuries. On the bright side, Bryant was seen doing some work on the court on Friday, two and a half weeks after the surgery. Jazz will have virtually everyone except Leandro Balmero and Micah Potter. Utah lacks familiar faces like Donovan Mitchell, Rudy Gobert, and Boyan Bogdanovich, of course, but they still pose a threat behind a balance of young talent and veterans. In the top 15 in offensive and defensive stats in eight games, they took down Memphis, Denver, and Minnesota, among others. The Lakers need to be on the lookout for Utah's extra pass. Jazz is second in assist differential, 7.8 more compared to their opponents. However, they have the fourth highest number of turnovers per game at 16.6. Striker Laurie Markkanen is enjoying a good start to the season, averaging 21 points and 9 rebounds per game. Davis will likely face Mark Annan in the front court, who also has Kelly Olenek by his side to spread the game. Guards Jordan Clarkson and Colin Sexton bring explosive scores, although they are not always efficient. Making sure Clarkson doesn't get hot is important. Sexton has only scored 20 points once this season, which means he should be playing in a standout game. Utah has a deep roster with several contributors, including Mike Conley, Malik Beasley, Jared Vanderbilt, Rudy Gay, and familiar face Talon Horton Tucker. Team defense has to be a priority with any of these players capable of scoring 20 points. Fortunately for the Lakers, they are among the best defensive teams in the league. However, the three-point shot remains an issue. LA is shooting 26.7% deep and didn't maintain its 43% shooting performance of three against Denver on Sunday. Until proven otherwise, shooting will remain a concern for the Lakers. And Russell Westbrook's sixth man of the year campaign continues to grow after another strong game. His energy will be crucial on Friday night against a bench at the Jazz who are averaging 43 points per game, third best in the league. A third straight win for the Lakers will be critical to the team's confidence after a difficult start to the season, so I hope they can keep that momentum going. Already subscribed to the channel? It is the best way not to miss any news from Lakers as we are always updating the news.